every year. The standard is always the same. Everybody has to live up to that standard. And if you're not, you can't, you can't be here. A lot of people hate on UConn. I think that just gives us the confidence that we need this season. There's a segment of people out there that maybe have given up on us, but I'm confident in our players and I trust them. And I think we're gonna surprise a lot of people. But then again, is anything we do a surprise? So when we come out now, we're going to do our two laps and then two lines for laps. Got it? Here we go. Together on three. One, two, three. Together. Let's go. Here at UConn, we're doing what's expected. We're doing what everybody goes, well, of course you should be going to the final. Of course you should be playing in the national championship game. And we think that. The players that come here think that. And we have to coach them like that. And at the same time, it's totally unrealistic. But you have to get kids that can thrive and succeed under that kind of glare and that kind of spotlight. UConn has won the national championship. The women's team is kind of like the team on campus, you know, not to sound cocky or anything like that, but it's cool. Just coming into this building and, you know, just looking at all of these banners and that was kind of like the first moment for me. I was like, wow, like, it's, it's real. It's a little intimidating sometimes, that 2015, 2016 era with Brianna Stewart, Morgan Tuck, Mariah Jefferson, seeing them win all four in a row, that was like, just, I don't know, it lit in my heart, and I just wanted to be here. Last year was, I would say, probably unlike any year that I've ever experienced. To be honest with you, there was a point in time where <clears throat> I didn't even think we'd be in the, in the NCAA tournament, the way things were going. This UConn team has shown incredible resilience all season long. We went through so much adversity last year that making it to the national championship game was a big accomplishment for us in that team, but at the same time, um, like this is UConn, that is kind of the standard, and we didn't play our best game that night. One on one with Nelson Adota. Boston, that's too easy. With two to shoot, Beckers gets it off. Short, loose ball, Cook after it. Here comes South Carolina. Last season, I would describe it as very challenging. I don't think anybody's ever been a part of so many ups and downs during one season and just the amount of injuries that we had. Nobody believed in us, you know, people doubted us a lot that season and I feel like that's really made us stronger as an individual and as a team, especially prepared us for this year. It was just another bump on the, in the road and I think it just really kind of helped us to stick together and, you know, just fight for us. It is not unfinished business any longer! South Carolina has captured its second national championship! What happened last year, that's unexplainable. How many things we had to deal with and, and how many uh, players missed games and, and the number of different lineups that we had to invent. I've never felt anything like it in my life in, in terms of what we had to overcome. Everything we had went through like that wasn't how it was supposed to end. And when I think about last year, that's not, not really the picture I want to remember. I think, you know, we can take a lot of good lessons out of it from last year that we can use for this year to, you know, have that chance to be in that position again and, you know, in the end win. 
Every practice and every game is going to be another step towards learning and finding out who we are. Mark hands, now it's time to meet the 2022-2023 Utah Women's Basketball Team! Our team this year is already way different than our team last year. Just the atmosphere here, our chemistry with each other is really different. And so I think it's kind of like within all of us to pitch in that little bit and everyone steps up. Every year the standard is always the same, like the highest possible, you know, and everybody has to live up to that standard. And if you're not, you can't be here. Nothing's easy and it's, it's never going to be easy, so it's going to be a challenge. Even when you think it's going to be an easy game, they're coming at you their hardest because it's UConn. A lot of people hate on UConn, but I think that just gives us like the confidence that we need. Our goals this year, obviously, are to win the Big East, make it back to the Final Four, and win the national championship. But I think we have a lot of work to do before that. There's a segment of people out there that maybe have given up on us, but we'll see. I'm confident in our players, and I trust them and I think we're gonna surprise a lot of people. But then again, is anything we do a surprise? Some years, it's as long as our bus gets to the game on time, we're gonna win. Some years, it's, even if we get there by halftime, we're gonna win. This is one of those years. We gotta get there early, and we gotta, we gotta play our asses off. UConn women's basketball junior guard Paige Beckers will miss the 2022-23 season. When we received the news that Paige had torn her ACL. Every person associated with that program just felt like the air had just been knocked out of them. Yeah, I was really good. I was really good before the injury. Um, I was ready, ready for the season to start, but obviously this happened, and so it's just another journey after the attack. There was just this stunned feeling and empty feeling and just, an incredulous feeling like how could this happen again after the kid missed 20 games last year how can this happen it was really hard for me to like hear about her injury she texted me and i just immediately started crying she started like making me feel better <laughs> instead of me making her feel better um, that's how i like how like lost i was in that moment your initial thought is that's it you know there goes our chance of you know playing for a national championship but as time goes by, you have to kind of regroup and you have to say, okay, uh, it's not like last year. Hey, let's hang on, let's hang on, let's hang in there until she gets back. No, she's not coming back. Yeah, I'm head coach. Uh, <laughs> coach, let me take his spot. No, I'm just kidding. But I told him, uh, I'm players coach. I'm going to be like the one that they can talk to, the one that's going to push them, but also the one that they can rely on when they need support. Paige never shuts up, so she will for sure be our our sideline, like our player coach. And I'm betting right now that she's gonna take over a few huddles and like kick coach out of a huddle. Because if anyone does it, Paige will be the one to be able to be like, coach, shut up, let me get this. So now we have to figure it out. Coaches, players, they say, well, what are we gonna do different? I don't know. We're gonna do what we do. We're gonna proceed like we always do. And it may actually turn out to be, you know, really, really good for those other kids. And now, people have to adjust a little bit, move a little bit, be asked to do things that maybe they weren't expecting. You are guarding two people. You're guarding that guy, and you're guarding this guy. So one hand's got this guy covered, the other hand's got this guy covered, and your head is always moving. You're all right. Anita, she's... She's spicy. We call her piranha. Sometimes it's it's hard playing against her because she's just so intense and like, you know, always on it. Just go, go, go. Nika's that emotional driving force that pushes our team forward. 
she thinks she can accomplish anything, and she makes our team think like that. See this team? That's the best team. Yeah. That's what's going on. Number one. See, you see a scar? Yeah, you see yeah, this? This says everything. <laughs> Blow out. That's what we do. Nika brings so much fire and intensity and aggressiveness to our team. Playing against her in three on three, I'm like, God, I'm so glad this girl is on my team because if I had to play against her in real games, I would absolutely hate her. I think the player that has to be like superstar level for us is going to have to be AZ. And if she is, then that can help offset a lot of what we're missing with, you know, Paige not being here. And she certainly can do it. She's just impossible to guard. Um, such a great shooter. She's so disciplined. Like when she shoots, she's just like a robot. Like it's always the same, always goes in. I've never seen somebody with like work ethic like that and discipline like that. You know, you look at the freshmen and you go, hey, you know, I think they can help us. Where, I don't know yet, but I, I, I know they're gonna help. I felt a little anxious at first, but I think we did good as like freshmen stepping in and um, just keeping the energy and keeping the flow of the pace and everything in practice. We got to establish ourselves and like show our dominance. We've had freshmen come in and start and play 40 minutes every night and help us win national championships. So I don't buy, you know, like, hey, she's young, give her a break. No. We're not just depending on one player. We like to think that we're the kind of program that can battle through and, and overcome whatever obstacles are in our way. A hundred times a different than last year's birthday crowd. You guys have grown up a little bit, and now you understand what it is that has to be done here every day. Okay, on Friday, there was a good day. Everybody in Connecticut and everybody would say, go, is, go to the Final Four and win a national championship. That doesn't change, that never changes. The UConn women's basketball program is legendary. They have more like attention than any other college basketball team in the nation. It's really important to us here at UConn. The support here is pretty unmatched. It's definitely one of the reasons I came here. Our fans are the best fan base in the world. They're the reason why we're here in the gym every day and you know, working so hard sacrificing so much because we want to perform well in front of them. We want them to feel proud. In 2014, I started as a caregiver for an alumni from UConn. We went to the game. I crocheted a really, really fast poncho. Then I said, you know what? Let's go to another game. But I wanted a different poncho. So for every single home game that I came to, I never wore the same poncho twice in one season. Myself and the state of Connecticut are very, very proud of the UConn women's basketball team. We're gonna get number 12. Number 12 is coming. Yes, it is. You almost have to invent another word for how good they are. They've just been, just the hallmark of excellence for just basketball in, in, in general. When people say that your program's going through a championship drought, you know, that means you guys are, are, are pretty dang good. That means you've established a precedent of excellence that people expect you to win a championship every couple of years. And when you don't, you know, people are scratching their heads. I'm the first Hungarian kid that played here and I think it's just kind of gives extra motivation to all those young girls to you know just like it's a possibility you know like you can still come to the United States and there's a chance for everything. Dorka, she has brought a leadership role to this team. 
I'm very excited for one more year with her. I'm glad she's here. Dorka is just my fellow European, obviously. Um, she's like a big sister to me this year. I told Coach, I was like, we just gotta keep recruiting more internationals. It's just good to see like more international kids also just come out here and, you know, just take a shot at it. The fact that Lou has so much experience, you know, playing four years in college, her experience is going to be invaluable. And then um, you hope that, you know, Nika and Aliyah can build on their first couple seasons. Aliyah, she's just like such an incredible person, such an incredible teammate, a great leader for our team this year, I'm sure of that. It's great to have her on the floor. I love playing with her and I feel like she's going to have a great season. I love having an international mixed team. When I got homesick, they kind of like had a good understanding what it means to be like so far away um, from your family. Like it's not just, you know, I can just drive home and all of that. Like it's six hours difference and that's like a 20 hour flight. So it's nice to see that more people, more internationals are coming to the States and, you know, just take a shot at it and see where they go with it. Watch them not pick up, which would not be the first time. There they are. Bucket keeper, this Some of those not that's the nakamari. It's usually the morning time I talk to them because they're six hours ahead. So it's like the perfect timing for us. Um, I wake to, I wake up, call them immediately. You know, immediately makes my day better. <laughs> we use WhatsApp. We're very old school. We don't use no messages or FaceTime. Um, ništa mi imamo, slobodan dan danas. Sorry, ovo je new school. Da, new school. <laughs> we were just talking about how our days were, <laughs> asked about my grandma, my sister. Yeah, no, it definitely helps a lot, you know, just hearing from them every day. There's three people in the group, you know, my sister, my dad, my mom, there's always somebody that's going to pick up. So, um, just automatically makes my day so much better. You know, we just look for unselfish kids. We look for kids that care more about what our team is trying to do than what it is that they're trying to do. You know, what's the pressure like? I don't know. You come every day and you feel it. The trick is, can you function in an environment where the only outcome that's acceptable is winning a national championship? If you don't do that, it's not a successful season. The atmosphere of the fans and, you know, uh, sharing the code with my teammates, uh, it's always a special feeling uh, for the first game of the season. I think even like right from when we started practice, and even in the summer, our chemistry was kind of just there, kind of just started to click right away and it's been a lot of fun getting to play with this team, this group of girls, so I'm really excited because our chemistry is only going to get better and our energy and effort, all that, is only going to get better, so I'm excited to see where we go. In the NFL, you know, if you win five out of 10 years, you're a dynasty because it's so incredibly difficult to win one time, much less five times. In basketball, you know, the Celtics, what, they win nine, 10. UCLA, what, they win 10 in a row. So, you know, is it a dynasty what we've done? Yeah, 22 Final Fours and 11 national championships. Yeah, that's to be classified as a dynasty. I think it's going to be very tough this year. We've been through so much together and, you know, as long as we stick together and we lift each other up in tough situations, I think we will be okay. And, you know, just being that hustling team that works hard and coaches have our back. I'm not worried about us. I think we're going to do good. Winning is the number one for me, so you know, coming to a culture and coming to a program that is like taking that really seriously is just amazing and I'm super grateful for that. I think I'm gonna go into this season like every time on the court I just wanna have an impact, you know, both defensively and offensively. Hustle's all I know. We be on it. Really we be on it, working hard because my opponents, I won't let them get a moment. I ain't flexing, I ain't bragging, I ain't boasting. But when it comes to greatness, man, I swear that we the close. That's it. That's it.
What I think this team has to do this year is keep the standard high, which is obviously the goal every year. What should be very big for us this year is just um, hustle and hard work. Yes, Go! Go! Jump! I jump! Our new guys gave us some great, great minutes. And our returning players that I wanted to see play well, you know, I think we're really, really good. And, you know, AZ did what AZ does. From last year, I feel like a new person. I have so much more confidence in myself. I'm really excited for how things have started and where we're going to go with things. That was the, like, Perfect. Written in the stars, no way. They did what they what they do every day in practice. So nothing out of the ordinary for them. They weren't less than they've been, and they were exactly what I hoped they would be. The goal for our team, I think, is always the same, and that is the national championship. But you know. There's a lot of other little goals towards the way that you know we want to accomplish in order to get there, which is like all the little puzzles need to like connect in order for us to reach the big goal. We have the hardest schedule in the country, so we have to be ready. And you know we have to win all those games, even though you know we know all the things that we're asked to do is not realistic. But for us, the challenge is keep going after it, knowing that you're probably going to miss it more times than you're going to get it, because the times you do get it. So it makes it all worthwhile.